Real quick, I want to give a thanks to Reserve Bar. They're not the sponsor of this episode. They're just really into how we explore spirits as a community, and they sent us just about every bottle in this lineup. Here we go. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Are we doing this blind? Do it blind? Yes. So we're not projecting. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No I like judgments. that. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. judgments. Uh, I will say on celebrity whiskeys, yeah. when you get famous, I think it's pretty awesome to be like, alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have my own bourbon. Yeah. Or right. I get to decide what it tastes like or something like that. First, let's get something in front of us. What's the what's the thing we want to try? Yes. Next yeah. one. You have a hat. That makes it easy for you. No, I close my eyes anyway. I'm just making sure that no one can claim I was cheating. There's no honor in cheating. Oh, there's honor in. Winning. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> is so, this a tequila? Woo, dog, that is musty oh. tequila. There's a kind of like a- There's a- A buttery quality to it. A, yeah, like a butterscotch note and a tequila? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yes, and like a dried something, dried fruit of some kind. Uh, do you have a lot of tequila before? Yeah. Yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like, there's a difference between like shooting a lot of tequila. Yeah, and I've never sipping really. Tequila. Tequila. I've, yeah, I don't know if I've ever sipped tequila. <laughs> this is actually kind of nice. So it's not what I expect from a tequila. Yeah, it's got some real it's like, sweetness. Yeah, it's kind of. I don't know if there is, but there's almost like some flavoring in there. Yeah, there. Well, and it, again, it's musty. I mean, in the tequila process, this Very has not sweet. been filtered. Yeah. To the point where it's stripped out all the flavor compounds, which means it's not a huge, giant, big brand release. Blanco tequila. Mm -hmm. It's probably a smaller hmm. production. <laughs> Don't think this is like classic tequila, at least is how I understand classic tequila to be. Like it's so sweet vanilla. Yeah. A think of it quality. this way though. Yeah. If all you're used to in Canadian whiskey is yeah. Canadian club, mm -hmm. and then you try a really good Canadian rye, like an Alberta, yeah. then you're gonna be like, well, this isn't really classic Canadian, but the reality is it's just not classic compared to what you've had all your life mm. and you thought that's what tequila was. Right. If you really dive into tequila with beyond Cuervo and stuff like that, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you find a lot of these notes. Mm. I got a slight asparagus <laughs> note as I took a sip. I found more tequila on the taste. Yeah, the, fl the nose is way more interesting actually, than the flavor. I actually like the taste better. It's softer, but it's not as complex as the nose would lead you to believe. That is the softest tequila I think it's tequila proof down. I've ever had. Yeah, it's gonna be a little proof. Yeah, uh, but you're right, it is. There's no bite, there's no, no real burn. There's no regrets it's, in that sip. Not yet, anyway. I kind of, I'm okay with it. It's not yeah. bad. I'm not a huge tequila person. I'm getting cotton candy in the nose all of a sudden. Or kettle corn. Yeah, there's something just Butter, super that, that sweet. Kettle corn. That buttery, sweet, musty. I feel tequila. like this, this is, is the, the Kendall Jenner the one. The 818? Yeah, the 818. Yeah. You yeah. bastard. I knew it. So Daniel is completely fresh. He doesn't even know what the bottles are. No. She put together it's kind with, of fun. Wow. I took credit. So. <laughs> you know what it is? It's not yeah. bad. I, I, I like more of that cracked black pepper note in my tequila. Yeah. It, that's not really present very much at all. And it is musty on the nose. Yeah. Like this wow. smells like a really funky fermentation. Mm -hmm. It's actually, I would have never bought this on my neither, own. Neither, well, I'm still not gonna. Yeah. But. <laughs> well, no. But well, you got I a whole mean, bottle it's now. it's actually good. Close your eyes. They're closed. Uh, you're looking, looking at me. Nobody's looking. I know your general direction. So we're in an age spirit. Ooh, okay. Oh. Bourbon. Yeah. I don't it's know soft. what I was expecting. Yeah. You say celebrity whiskeys, I'm yeah. thinking it's gonna be sparkles or something. <laughs> yeah, no. It's pretty basic. I, I'm not boring. Like, it's good. It's, no, no. But it is definitely like, yeah. it's got a little more brown sugar than an MGP. I guess yeah. Pears. yeah, I'm not saying it's MGP, I'm saying like the quality, yeah, yeah. the niceness yeah. is an MGP. I only smell pears. Pears? Yeah. Pears? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time I had pear. I love pears. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very adamant about this. Yeah, pears. I love pears. <laughs> so there's a hotness to it, but I do get a bit of that pear note. Yeah, yeah, when you said hot, I got a little bit cinnamon. Oh, that's good. It's a really deep brown sugar, rich, yeah. kind of oaky. Yeah. They didn't prove it to the floor. Not heavy tannin. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. It is like right home plate, really good bourbon. It's not bad. I don't like the way it, it goes down, mm -hmm. though. It's a little dry on the finish. It goes kind of rich and then gravelly. it's- It's a little gravelly. So gravelly. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> not a bad start. No, this I is good. I think we're gonna be like yeah, this in, the, is not, in the gutter of flavors and whether they were involved in deciding what was in it, mm -hmm. they ended up with a good bourbon. Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. Kentucky straight bourbon. Look at that. Oh, Terry Bradshaw, Kentucky, the Terry. football guy. Football. Oh, okay. Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Born in Owensboro, Kentucky. Really it's respectable. You think football guys don't know their whiskey? Oh. I think you could basically come to a football guy and say, hey, let's do a money grab. 
Oh, no, I think that's oh, definitely possible, sure. but that's true with yeah. any celebrity, yeah. really. Yeah. Whoever does the best part of this um, sponsorship brought to you by Ritual gets to take this home. I'll do it. I'll take it home. We actually really enjoy Ritual. Ritual asked if they could be a sponsor. Yeah. You were very excited because you had yes. already heard about them. I had already been yeah. looking them up before. Yeah, yeah. I love Ritual because they actually, so they're a multivitamin mm -hmm. where they actually like research what that Yes. category of gender and age range is deficient in. But you can, if you don't want to like futz with it, yeah. you can say, hey, just throw me right over home plate all of the stuff that I need for my gut health. Yes. Gut health is super important for all of the things. So what is that one? Minty. What's the label on the bottle? Oh, sorry. <laughs> These are the essential vitamins for women. Yes. This is Me. the Symbiotic Plus is the prebiotic, uh, probiotic, and postbiotic. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Because, you know, you get, it's all three. It's a symbiotic. You keep stepping on my quality. Yeah, because I know more than you. Again, this is coming more towards. No, I feel like it's coming me. Toward, to me. They're super transparent about where they're sourcing the vitamins to and also the environmental impact of the packaging materials and everything. They just want you to know exactly what you're getting into, yeah. which is cool. Get a massive 30% off your first month with Ritual by going to ritual.com slash whiskeytribe30 and using code whiskeytribe30 at checkout. That's good, check it out. Close your eyes. Whoa, Aged. that smells nice. Aged spirit? Yeah, I like that. That's, oh, that's sweet apples. That's like a strawberry fruit roll-up. Like a puree, mm -hmm. like a strawberry puree yeah, yeah, yeah. with the extra sweetness added to it. Kind of like that. Like that's, that. yeah, that's so sweet. very desserty, sugary, fruity sweet. Yeah, a little strawberry shortcake, mm -hmm. maybe? Oh, I like the shortcake reference. Mm. Yeah. yeah, definitely shortcake. I like the nose. There's some fun things going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna like the taste because I expect this to be very, very Super sweet. Super sweet, yeah. I doubt, here's the thing. I think the little woody note that's showing up in the nose is gonna be stronger on the palate. Should we mouth yep. it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you nose it and then you mouth it. You nose it. I actually like that way better than taste it. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go mouth, mouth this. Yep. Yeah. It's way, way softer. That's really low growth. It hits you tiny. for a moment and then dissolves. That tastes like candy flowers. Dash. The volume wasn't nearly as high as I was expecting. It's a little tangy. It doesn't taste oaky, but it does taste dry. Yeah. So category wise, this is not whiskey. I'm going to guess. Do you want to guess? I yeah, I want to hear your guess because I have no guess. This sound, this tastes like a little well, girls whiskey. It's <laughs> like if a little girl came yeah, no, out with wrong. a whiskey. That's, I want it to taste um, like rainbows. I don't know which celebrity did the cognac, but I think this is probably. Oh, maybe it's. Yeah, I was gonna say cognac? this is a brandy product. I think. Okay. Yeah, it's too thin and watery. You go back. It starts out very, very soft, and then whenever you go back to it, it loses a step. So, so a friend of mine hunting to find flavors. was totally trashing a celebrity brandy, but I think I know what this is because I was in that conversation. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's a, I think this is Jay-Z's cognac. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay-Z, I called you a little girl. <laughs> um, if it's, am, I, am I raw, right is about this, that? Is this Ducey? A Ducie, or whatever you want to call it. Ducey. Drop that Ducey that on the table. That Ducey on Like the maybe table. somebody else has a kind yeah, of that I don't know about. Oh my gosh, you were right. Ah. Ducey. Holy, what? I like the nose, the strawberry shortcake. I'm not mad at it. You yeah. get it on the taste, it's proof to the floor. It's just sweet. You go back for a second sip, and then there's hardly anything there. Then it's dry. Yeah, it's really low proof, I'm guessing. Let's now, see. Um, yep, 40. I looked at a quick article before we came over. Apparently Jay-Z's trying to get out of the relationship with Daoussi. Because he doesn't like it? Well, they're not <laughs> giving him the money he thinks he deserves. Oh, okay. Mm. Or maybe because he actually tried it and he's like, oh, I'm like, not at a tea there? party right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I'm just gonna put that out there. It's just kind of whatever. 11-year-old yes. girl spirit. Man, what 11-year-olds do you guys hang out with? Cool ones. Yeah, they're cool, cool ones. <laughs> cool as shit. Ones who know how to party. Daoussi. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say Fat Lucy and Little Girl Tea Party. <laughs> oh. All right. That's oh, whoa. Interesting. That is weird. A uh, lot of uh, tropical fruit notes. I get pita bread and raisins. Okay. I wasn't getting that at all until you just pita put bread? that into my mind. Pita bread and raisins. I was getting like a grass and banana pudding until okay. you said pita and okay. raisin, and now I it's all I could see Noah Wafer and banana pudding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What the hell is going this on? This is very here? weird. Yeah. But if you inhale really deeply, you get that weird sort of rubbery phenolic I note. I know what you're gonna say. You're rum. Right. You got it, yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah. rum. I think so you're right. When oh. you get past, mm -hmm. yeah, when you get past all the berries yes. and all the jam and all the banana, 
there's this rubbery phenolic under. So the thing that's the most rummy is gonna be that rubbery sweetness. The banana and the sweet rubber aside, there's actually a lot of other things going on in this nose. Yes. Like the vanilla wafers and yeah. like the raisiny sweetness. It's very, and um, grassy too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my deaf ear, so you whisper, I can't hear anything that you're saying. Ready? Smile? No. <laughs> Ready to mouth it? Now. Yeah, let's mouth it. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Hello. Wow. Wow, that is. Wow. They added coconut or that vanilla? That is cream soda again. That's like simple syrup level. They 100% added sugar to that. That is flat cream soda. I think that might actually be what Ugh. it is. I'm trying to get it off my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> the sweetness is just clinging on for dear uh -huh. life. Hmm. You could get into some serious trouble with this. It's so sweet. I think I got cavities. Just Even then it's wrong. Yeah. Just like that. All right, I'm over it. Diabetes. What is it? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking you're right, it's a rum. Um, what's the, oh. Bum Boom. Oh, this is, is this it, is, Wayne. is it Boom Boom? Rum with natural flavors. Okay, Lil Wayne, he's just trying to have something where he can just chug it. I think sure. this is probably, the least enjoyable so far. Make that an would easy make, cocktail. Even in a Coke, that would make the Coke too sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess right. Next one, close your eyes. Oh. Uh, all right, there we go. All right. All right. Ah, we're yeah. back in home turf again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> this is a whiskey. Mm hmm I mean, this is a whiskey, yeah. It's a bourbon. It's way more oak forward than the last bourbon that so, we had. So th the the most bourbony thing that I'm getting from this is the oak note. Yeah. Mm. But I'm not getting the telltale, like the cherry, the I'm apple. getting the rye spice, I'm like the accent grain. Dusty. Yeah, dusty, that's the corn. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. that dusty note is corn interacting <clears throat> with oak. This is way Dirt. more likely to be MGP to me. And they didn't proof this to the floor. No. Yeah. I think this is Derek Jeter's. You think it's the Jeter? Yeah. Another oh. football guy? Because it smells, no. Well, he's, he's baseball. Like, also, put your nose in that. there. It baseball. smells like baseball. <laughs> I How, what does baseball smell like to you? This. Apparently. Baseballs, for one. Okay. Dirt. I feel wow. like. Cracker Jacks. Chewing gum that you feel cool, like you're chewing on tobacco, but it's oh, just the, uh, that chunky. Oh, big meat chew? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mouth it. Whoa, okay, what? Oh, there it is, there's the orange. Holy sh I, I like that feel. The, I like this, this better one than the is, Terry Bradshaw. Uh, really? Yeah. So you like more of the herbal, the, probably higher rye. I like the, feel, the mouth feeling in this better. Mm. It's Second more approach, like not as oily. <laughs> Bespoken straight bourbon I'm right. whiskey. That's the that's Jeter. That's the Jeter, all right, nicely done. I yeah. knew it can smelled I, like baseball. Can I read into this? Sure, go ahead. So it's colored and flavored with new charred American oak staves. What are you doing? <laughs> Distilled in Indiana. Oh, uh, it is MGP. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not mad at it's it. It's not great. Of the MGPs that we've had, yeah. I don't like this one as much. Close your eyes. Keep your Saddle eyes. up. Can I do anything about it? Gin. Gin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I oh. I know this one. Okay. This is aviation. Okay. I think. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. I have this gin at my house because I think I like Ryan Reynolds a lot. Oh, I'm, I'm so pretty sure. Celebrity spirits work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's literally why I bought it. It turns out it's actually pretty good. Okay. I don't like it as much as I like Hendrix and Botanist. On the back of the package, it says this is the most highly rated. Gin in the world. It also well, says according what to who? Vodka according to people like you, be. yeah, <laughs> who like Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, we haven't even tasted it yet. We it's know. No, I just yep, there's okay. A, you know. Okay, I'll tell you why. There's this Pier One juniper note in his gin, where the juniper berry is on the nose, really strong. Yeah, but it's not on the taste. A lot of small craft distilleries get really aggressive on juniper. <laughs> this is a craft gin. Okay. It was anyway. So yeah. they they bought a craft distillery in the Northwest. Yeah, yeah. And they were full on customizing a gin. He bought it because it was good. Mm. And then they simply scaled up. But it's not sourced. I'm getting more of a vanilla on this gin nose than I typically get from gins. It's like the extract, mm, the vanilla yeah. extract. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's then, just really crisp and bright and fresh. And yeah, the, crisp is the right word. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's missing the citrus that I like in ours. They intentionally made this to be a little bit more tame yeah. mm -hmm. and smooth and soft for people that aren't hardcore gin drinkers to enjoy, and it worked. They're making all of the money and selling all of the gin. Yeah. Can we try a yeah, sip of this it. thing? Let's mouth it. Mouth yeah. it. I gotta tell you, that's called breaking walls in camera. Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. That's like 
16 walls. This is boring to me. Prefer the nose. In my memory of aviation is on the palate. It tastes a little briny. The nice, it is, it is a nice nose. It's so thin and watery on the taste. Yeah, I don't know, I you see the like brine? the taste. This is not intended for a neat pour, but if I'm doing a neat pour, I want yeah. flavors to be right no, up there with No, this is me. a martini. This makes yeah. a great martini. Yeah, yeah, I, Doesn't make a good gin and tonic. Really? From experience. Does it just get with, watered down with the tonic? No, the juniper adds some weird notes, mm. like that, what you get on the nose, mm. adds this weird briny note to a, to a gin and tonic. The citrus isn't strong enough. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. And, but on a martini, and I like dirty martinis, yeah, yeah, yeah. this one is really great. Mm. Are you ready? Okay. Damn it. Dude. Shut up. Oh, that's mezcal. Wow, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Did you know that tequila is a subset of mezcal? Yes. Not the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo right? Most people don't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. Yeah, yeah a lot of people what? are like, oh, tequila. Mexico's yeah, yeah, yeah. tequila. Right. And then mezcal is this weird smoky thing. Mm -hmm. No, mezcal is the parent category. No way. Tequila yeah. is a subset of mezcal. The mezcals that I've had, mm. and I want to have more, mm. but they very much present like this. This, yeah. it's almost like a cracked black peppercorn that you've cranked up all the way to nine or ten. The smokiness I like is, is very is spicy. floating yeah. on top yeah. like a cloud cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. underneath it I know is this is. soft, like, agricultural plant and green note. I need to get a lot more mezcal. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Get a margarita, yeah. but swap the tequila for mezcal. mezcal? Oh, you yeah. get a smoky what? margarita. All right. Yes. It's, it's amazing. Okay, let's mouth all it. All right, let's mouth it. It sets up the taste. Yes. Yeah. The, what you expect from the nose? That's so good. It's right there. <laughs> seamlessly into the taste. It's a little oh. softer than I would have done it. I do like more bite in my mezcal. Yeah, so the Vita's better, mm. but it, this is good. If I was comparing this to scotch, mm -hmm. it would be a slightly smoky Johnny Walker. I think based on one sip alone, this is probably a good gateway into mezcal. Oh yeah, yeah. Because not abrasive. Yeah, and it, a few moments after that big, you know, smoky mezcal mm -hmm. flavor happens, it's fading pretty quick. You're not yeah. stuck with it. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. complex. Not nuanced. Yeah. But but, but, but so but what I want out of a mezcal, it's yeah. it's right there for a minute. Ooh. For for a minute. Yeah. Dos hombres. Oh, it's yes. the um, it's the dude. From, yeah. Yes. yeah. Breaking Bad. Yes. It's uh, Aaron Cranston. I don't Brian. know. No, Brian. Brian. Brian Cranston. Two names <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah. Both Aaron them. something and oh. Brian Cranston. Jesse Pinkman and Brian Cranston. Jesse Pinkman. The original. I forget his real name. Character name and yeah, Aaron Paul. <laughs> they actually did the work. Okay. They yeah. went down to Mexico. That's cool. They did the actual work to work with the people yeah. making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was not phoned in. Yeah. Mezcal has a category. This is not an accessible soft category. Yeah. But I think yeah. they did a really nice job of making this kind of a challenging category for a lot of people accessible. I totally agree. Yeah. We know what this is. Yeah, we know. And I had to ask Daniel to bring a bottle, so you know what this I is. I know what this one is. Just bring it out. We know this what it is. This one's not blind. But yeah, we're not blind. <laughs> 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 this is the ZZ Top Tris Ombres. So they were actually involved in the blending, the tasting of all of it. Okay. So they, yeah. but they did it through Zoom yeah. with all three of the guys. They were sent samples. And yes. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't, yeah, find something good and slap her name on it and we'll no. sell a bunch. No. They went through and they were part of the tasting process mm -hmm. to help define the flavor, the palate of mm -hmm. what's in here right now. Right. Yeah. Evidently, what's in this is majority Tex Malt used oak. Yeah and their bourbon, what would have been blue corn. Yeah. Yeah, blue corn bourbon. Then there's an accent flavor of the Balconis rye. For them to have come to a point where there's a rye and a malt and a bourbon blend. And it worked. If you had to say, what was this? Mm. Before you knew it was a blend of things. A super, would you say malt, bourbon, or rye? I would say super, super, super fruity malt. Yes, me too. Yeah. Yeah, so my first impact on the nose is the weirdest malt that I've ever had. It, you know what, if you made a, I'm going back to the fruit roll-up again. If you made yeah. a pear yeah. fruit roll-up. Wow, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. If I was doing this blind, I would mm. guess it was a malt. I would just it guess actually, I was drinking American malt. I it reminds me of our, our 12 days yeah. balcony. No, malt. absolutely. Wood in there is not malt. A little bit of that sweet, dusty corn. Okay. Mouth. Ooh. Oh, it's still malt. <laughs> this is a. <laughs> This is weird. The this is a has really nuanced malt. malt. Dude, yeah. what? I like this. Yeah. Right? Even the Balconis has a unique rye. Yeah, the rye's not, not showing any, up in I'm here. I'm not finding any mm. of the rye. Go ahead and uh, pour the AB. So oh, this really, is a really bottle, yeah. but it's a used bourbon single malt. 
This is oh. a lot lighter and less fruity. Yeah. There's a if lot. If you get lineage, you're gonna get closer to the fruit that's in here. Yeah. This has so much more intensity and vibrant mm -hmm. flavor. I and mean, even in the color, mm -hmm. right? This is a much darker, richer mm. color than we have on the single malt. This Tres Hombres is really good. Oh, yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish most celebrity whiskeys went down this path. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And quite frankly, I was ready to sh on some celebrities. Like, I'm kind of surprised. No. No, uh, me too. I think yeah. overall, yeah. positive. Yeah. The most surprising based on what you expect from the celebrity versus what was actually in that book. Oh, Terry Bradshaw. Me too. Yeah. Mm. Mine was 818. 818? No offense, okay. Kendall. What? I wasn't expecting much. Well, but to be fair, she did just go to a photo shoot. I don't know if she did much beyond okay, that. Okay, maybe she didn't collab yeah. as much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My very first concert as a human being. ZZ Top concert. No really? Shit. Yeah. So I go to the ZZ Top concert. I'm like a early teenager. They're handing out these earplugs. <laughs> yeah. And like, I'm thinking, I'm at a concert. Why do I want like, the first? Yeah. Blah, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah. Yeah. They taught me what a pearl necklace was. Ah. <laughs> it's time to get that new merch. 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 Wanna get me some merch? Merch. Wanna get me some merch? Check out that new merch. in the description down below.